Um, so it to Ibiza, but it's a perdition <laughs> of silence. You have, you have loads of money, and you go to enjoy. Come to Ibiza. Come to Ibiza. Vario tip. Vario tip. Que hay mucho vario pinto de gente. And, uh, she said that the best is the multi mean, multicultural ah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. all the multi, time, uh, yeah. party, you know, all the time. And we are here... From the, from the people with a big cocodril. Big cocodril, no, big from the Basque country. Big cocodril here to the people with... You know, like... We are, you know, we are like, all... You know, we eat MBA. Yeah. You know, only. The multicultural <laughs> is the best in Italy. Look at the people. This is the... Real Ibiza people. And the drive. Ibiza people. We just finished school, so we wanted to party. And uh, that's about it. We're from Italy, so we had Ibiza is a great place to party. We came here. We love party. Basically, what? Right party. there, right there. Party all day, party all night, beach. Uh, beach, sun, and people. very good looking people. Very yeah. good looking people. Um, that know how to have a good time. Everybody's Everyone's here. Everyone's having a good time. Exactly. Yeah. It's got to be the people. It's the way you can come here and feel free enough to do anything you want to do. Be who you want to be. You know what I love? I love the international feel. The international feel is fantastic. You've got someone from Holland, someone from Brazil, someone from Canada, someone from Spain within half a foot. It's just fun and crazy and wild and, you know, everybody's happy. Everybody want to have fun. You just throw the problems away. They have the really, really biggest, <laughs> loudest, best parties at a pizza. Yes, yes, they have. So if you want to enjoy yourself, get a plane. <laughs> we have get much over problems here in our country. Fly to Ibiza. This. Look around. This. Everything. Music, sun, babes, chicks, weather, friends. Best place in the world. Yeah. Well, you can ask every clubber that's here on this island, every clubber that's here at the moment. I believe there is the island that has the most clubs and the best atmosphere for since 99, since 1988, really, since the summer of love. That's no, we what you read about Ibiza media. in the media is not, <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> it's true, but you can make of Ibiza what you want to make of Ibiza. Definitely. Yes, that's so it. if you want to totally have a laid back agree. holiday, you can. If you want to party all night, all day, seven weeks, I don't care. It can be done in Ibiza. What I love best about this island is um, the island. The, it's the island itself. I think that's what I love most. It's just a party, it is a party island, but on the same note, you don't have to be up there in the club dancing up with chips and dancing on bars. And you'll be sitting out on the beach, chilled out, talking to really friendly people. It's just a very chilled out place. I think everybody who comes here, comes here for different reasons, but the ulterior motive is we can all come together and be as one. That's what, that is what I believe it's all about, baby. To be honest, it's different things every year, but the fact that I have to do absolutely nothing every day. Every year is party scene, the people, the environment, everything. It's, it's got a lot of history. There's, the world goes way back from like the late 50s to 60s, there's always been a music culture there. And underground music's just been born there and that's what drew me over there. I actually got booked over there when I was, I was 16 years old, went over there and did my first gig. So, yeah, it's just got, it's got a spiritual feeling about it. You, you sense it when you're over there. There is a drug scene here. There is a drug scene all over the world. Right? I come from London, so obviously I'm, there is a drug scene. There's a drug scene everywhere, right? There's no getting away from it. There's no denying it. But I think the drug scene is pretty cool. They don't lay it on heavy with nobody. There's no big killings. There's no big fights, so therefore the drug scene can't be that heavy. The people go here for the same thing, you know what I mean? Everyone's come here to take drugs, it's too easy to take. Uh... About the drugs? Issues on? No pressure? I'll just explain you, if not, alright? It's not forbidden, you understand me? Everyone can do what, whatever, what, what he thinks, you know, at the beach, 
at the disco and the, on the street. It's everywhere, you know? If they're there, take them. Them. Don't take them. <laughs> um, well, you know, you've, yeah, they've always gone off. Um, Tom! I think anyone will tell you that. Um, Tom, Tom, Tom! But that's the, Tom. that's the culture, isn't it? That's the lifestyle. That's why a lot of people can stop eating. They let their hair down. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of places you can do it, a lot of ways you can do it. And it's, that's it. That's it. It's easy. Tom. No problems. No problems. It's <laughs> No, 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 um, I'm really poor. I need free drugs. Please. If you, want, if you want more ecstasy, you can get it for me. Yeah. You want LSD? LSD? You know LSD? You want LSD? No problem. No problem. See, at home it's like, who does drugs? Because everyone else doesn't. But over here, the minority is like, well, who doesn't do drugs? Um, me and my friend, no drugs. No drugs? No, no. no. Only, only drink. Drink, yes. Drugs, but no. No, no drugs. Bling, bling, round two. Yes! Oh! I feel it, my boy! I feel it, my feet! I feel it, my feet! I feel it, my feet! Are the on them? You don't need them. The music just gets you going, so you don't need drugs at all, do you? It's here if you need it. And if you don't need it, you don't need it. But it's here if we need it. Now, many drugs. Back. You take any? No. Yeah. I went to Aldovino at Miss Money Penny's and I was sitting on the terrace. I was so fucked, I was thought I was sitting on a chair, decided to lean back and fell straight over the terrace down onto the rocks and into the sea. I don't use drugs. Let's, re let's, let's be simple about it. I just like alcohol and my girlfriend. That's it. And, uh, I don't mind people taking drugs, but they should be careful with it. And that's you now. I know that we're in Europe. We're farther with drugs than in America. I mean, that's zero tolerance policy in America, which is good because I think that drugs. You know, if, if you take something into uh, illegal, if you make like, for instance, uh, some parts of drug legal, then it, you always get problems with the other. Because you know, drugs will always be a problem, but. I just wish that the people who use drugs use it wisely. They use it for their own benefit, not to um, ruin somebody else or convince somebody else. Just you know, let's let's all be happy and not you know. If, if one person goes down, it ruins the atmosphere of the of the whole night, yeah. and it, it ruins everybody's night. So just use it wisely, and then it's no problem with me. Well, basically, we don't do drugs. Do no, we? no, no, no. Someone just forced two fucking down my throat about ten minutes ago, and uh, I can't. No, you no, did no, that no, to no. me. No, you did it to me. No, you did it no, to me. me. This here is a bag of ecstasy, which is I get this. Buy these in bulk from Amsterdam. They come straight from Amsterdam. Get them from a Spanish guy that owns a bar down the road. And this, I'll just show you them up close. What people in our booth are taking? If we can open the fucking bag. Sorry for swearing on the uh, camera. Okay, and these, I don't know what these are yet, but these are lips, blue lips. I know these are very pure, very clean. And I pay I pay about three three fifty euros for one of these when you buy them in bulk. And people out here buy them for ten. Ten euros. So there you go. It's the craziest thing I've seen here. Probably a vision of myself about two days ago. <laughs> we went uh, to Bora Bora, we started drinking heavily at Bora Bora, out, loads of alcohol, and then we decided to go to Garland's. So we go to Garland's and we decided to pop a few pills, double drop in, etc, etc. Before you know it, we're absolutely upside down and wrecked. Well, there are a lot of crazy things really, but the, the crazy things don't happen, ever happen in the public, they always happen in the little back rooms, I think. Um, well, you know, the English are fond of their drugs. 
and we, we, we judge people, we can get everything, so it's no fun for us to be with drugs, so, but we can have fun with the English, you can. So we drove back to fucking El Divino, where me and my friend Mincer was absolutely gurning our tits off, pulling face at the bouncer, and the bouncer refused entry at El Divino, so we thought, no way, we can't let this happen. So me and my friend walked round to the back of El Divino, Climbed over the wall and jumped in for free at El Divino. We swapped t-shirts because then we thought we wouldn't recognise us. <laughs> so we got in free and all those mates just sat on the terrace going, what the fuck are you doing in here? The craziest thing I've seen is a man collapse in midday blistering heat on the pavement in San Antonio, clutching a loaf of bread with a pool of melted butter next to him. He was collapsed on the corner, like in all the drains, like monkey sewage water. A loaf of bread that's cuddled like this, pool of butter next to him. Like he'd gone to the shop and just like collapsed. Some bloke trying to order a drink from me when I'm spinning came over and he wanted to find me because I wouldn't serve him a drink. I said, Look, this is the DJ booth, the bar's over there. And he continued to get really leery with me, so we had a little bit of a, a kerfuffle. Oh, amazing. Cafe Del Mar, place to be, man. Yeah. I mean, They're amazing. Like, when you're coming down, there's no better way than to just watch sunset. Uh, sunsets are really popular here. Yeah. And they, they are, especially around Cafe Del Mar and Coastline here, where we're sitting now. Um, but it's, uh, sunsets are a phenomenal. Depends on the on the crowd that goes. Traveling somewhere, 
Um, well, my English is really good. I really enjoy playing there. Um, I think the thing about my English is that they put a lot of effort into the shows. Like, have Japanese artists, dancers, and everything. It's like going to see Cirque du Soleil. It was a fantastic uh, stage performance. Yeah, brilliant. Dancing. So you stand there watching, going, "Oh God, yeah, it's really, really good." It's yeah. not a club. It's not a club. It's a theatre. But for that reason, as long as you're accepted for that, it's fair enough. It's all right. We were doing a party called Money Mission in Manchester and that ended there in 94 and we were organised and, and that ended abruptly and we came here on holiday and uh, got offered a chance to do this club, it was called Coup back then and uh, we 
We started in the small side room over there where you'll see all the people partying now. And, uh, and it grew to be the whole club. And it's still here nine years on. You know? We are going to go club. are dead as well because people are either going home to sort out the deaths that they've conjured up for the whole summer on drink and drugs and everything else you can imagine or they're going back to college and all the nightclubs closed down all the all the closing parties are at the end of september and we've got you know amnesia closing and privilege closing the mainland spain people that are working here just head back to mainland spain and all you have left is eight people and they're just the people that are going to be dead and everyone, everybody was 
everyone.